This video is in the electronic series and will be about the motors and sensors. Here are four EV3 sensors, the ultrasonic sensor, the touch sensor, the color sensor, and the gyro sensor. The ultrasonic sensor measures distance away from an object in a straight line, but it's not very accurate so we don't recommend using it. The touch sensor is like a little button which detects if an object is pressed, released, or bumped, which is both. So the touch sensor has a little cross-shaped hole in the front, so you can use it by putting pegs, axles, or beams to transfer the motion into the sensor. In FLL, you can use it to navigate your robot around the walls by detecting when it presses against a wall or an object, so it could orient the robot around. The color sensor can be used to detect color, like to follow lines, and also it could find light intensity, which is a, it's a value from 0 to 100. And it's how dark or light it is from white to black. Finally, the gyro sensor. It doesn't come with the standard EV3 set, but it's very useful. It has these arrows on the top, and it can, it measures the rotation this way. And it's pretty accurate if you use it right. And it's very compact. There are three kinds of motors you'll want to use with your EV3. So this is the large EV3 motor. It comes standard with the EV3 set, and there's two of them. And this is basically what you'll be using mostly. It spins this way to the side. And this is the NXT large motor, which is basically the same, but it was there before the EV3 in the NXT set. And it's still compatible with the EV3, and it's basically the same. It also spins to the side, but it's a rounder instead of this blocky shape over here. And... It's slightly smaller, it fits with more things, but it's basically the same. And the last one is the EV3 medium motor. There wasn't any medium motor with the NXT set, but besides the, the size, the size is obviously smaller, and another thing is the shape. So it spins around this way, instead of sideways, like the large motors. So... And to demonstrate, like with this axle inside, it spins around clockwise and counterclockwise facing the front, while these go sideways. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching.